Hello there! Today we're going to draw a stickman using Affinity Designer version 2. We are going to use shape for the head and the body. And then for arms and legs we will use a line so the stickman will be editable. This way you can easily duplicate the whole stickman and adjust him or her in different poses. So take a look. I'm already here in Affinity Designer. I draw one stickman already, but don't worry, I will show you again how you can do that. So first, you need to pick a shape for the body here. You can really go with anything. We can have a, some kind of rectangle, oval. In my case, I will use a trapezoid shape. So more shapes over here. And there's a trapezoid shape like that. I will rotate the whole shape and we don't need any outline so just the shape fill with the black color next I will round my corners so corner tool select all of the corners pull them inside to round them like this all right so that's my body you can say above that I need a perfect circle so I using oval tool holding shift that's the perfect circle for my head all right what next we need arms and legs for that I will use pen tool so grab your pen tool and for legs let's make it like super ugly first so we understand what's going on so just click here holding shift or click again here for the knee and then somewhere here still holding shift and like that now we need some outline so let's add outline to this line all right and here's for my legs and very similar thing i think we can even duplicate this layer so right click on the layer and we can use that copy for arms actually all right so that's a very base stick man or we need to modify him or her to make it nicer so let's grab a note tool note tool will help us to modify notes just like that so we can easily modify notes and this way you'll be able to put your stick man in any position you want for arms over here we can reduce the width of this line so it's not as wide as the line for the legs we can also add additional point here to add a point just click on the line and here it is and for the legs we let's make it more natural pose something more like that and as you can see it's really easy because we got this node for the knee and this way we can just move the node and move our stickman around without need for redrawing the whole stickman right let's make the head a little bit bigger and okay that's my stickman number one let's say you need another one select all hold command drag with command and here's our duplicate and now for the duplicate you can again use node tool and change the pose for this guy okay take a look here's a new pose all right so that's really quick process some people i like to flip this trapezoid thing in case of let's say you want to show that the stickman is more like female character or something like that you can try to do it like this and of course if you're working with a child character you can reduce the size of the stickman but keep in mind if you are resizing the stickman you need to click here scale with objects want to scale the size of arms with object like that and then make a head a little bit bigger and that will be a child stickman all right so that's really easy we've got two shapes for the head and for the body 
and then for arms and legs we are using pen tool so we can later on use node tool to modify easily and quickly legs and body sorry legs and arms to make new poses i hope this trick will be useful for you and if this is your first time here don't forget to check other tutorials i got more than 100 tutorials about affinity designer i hope you will learn something new see you in the next video bye